Hello, my name is Gary, and I was raised in the Western United States, so I'm a native English speaker. I hope that you will enjoy this YouTube channel. Thank you for joining us. Claude Monet, The Magpie, is a captivating masterpiece that transports viewers into a serene winter landscape. Painted by Claude Monet in 1869, this artwork captures the essence of a tranquil winter day with meticulous attention to detail. At the forefront of the painting lies a snow-covered landscape, blanketed in pristine white snow. Monet's brushstrokes skillfully convey the texture and depth of the snow, creating a sense of softness and tranquility. The snow-covered ground extends into the distance, leading the viewer's gaze towards a quaint rural home nestled among the trees. The home, with its warm tones and welcoming glow, stands out against the snowy backdrop. Smoke billows gently from the chimney, hinting at the cozy warmth inside. The contrast between the cold exterior and the inviting interior adds a sense of comfort and homeliness to the scene. A wooden fence runs along the edge of the property, partially covered in snow. The fence serves as a boundary between the cultivated land and the wild, untamed beauty of the surrounding landscape. Perched atop the fence is the titular magpie, a striking black and white bird that adds a touch of life and movement to the scene. The magpie's presence imbues the painting with a sense of curiosity and vitality as it surveys its surroundings with keen interest. Overall, Claude Monet, the magpie, is a masterful depiction of a winter landscape, capturing the quiet beauty and serenity of the season. Through his skillful use of color, light, and composition, Monet invites viewers to immerse themselves in the peaceful tranquility of a snowy day in the countryside. The Water Lily Pond is one of Claude Monet's most renowned works, showcasing his fascination with light, colour and the natural world. Completed between 1899 and 1900, this masterpiece is part of Monet's iconic series of water lily paintings, which he produced during his later years at his beloved home in Genevi in France. In this masterpiece, Monet's focus on the elements of water, flowers, willow trees and the bridge creates a harmonious and serene composition. The water takes centre stage in the painting, its surface meticulously rendered with delicate brushstrokes that convey movement and depth. Monet captures the reflective quality of the pond, allowing it to mirror the surrounding landscape with remarkable clarity. The water serves as a dynamic canvas, reflecting the vibrant colours of the sky, foliage and flowers above. Floating gracefully on the surface of the pond are clusters of water lilies, their delicate petals shimmering in the sunlight. Monet's attention to detail is evident in the meticulous rendering of each bloom, capturing their intricate forms and vibrant hues. The water lilies add a sense of tranquility and beauty to the scene, their presence further accentuating the serenity of the pond. Surrounding the water lilies are towering willow trees, their graceful branches cascading towards the water's edge. Monet expertly captures the soft, feathery foliage of the willows, imbuing them with a sense of movement and vitality. The trees frame the scene, their verdant forms providing a lush backdrop to the tranquil pond. In the distance, a quaint bridge spans the width of the pond, its arch structure adding a sense of symmetry and balance to the composition. The bridge serves as a focal point, drawing the viewer's eye towards the heart of the scene. Through the water lily pond, Monet offers us a sanctuary, a place of quietude and contemplation where we can momentarily escape the chaos of the world and reconnect with the beauty of the natural world.
Claude Monet, Path in the Wheat Fields at Pourville, is a mesmerizing painting that captures the serene beauty of the coastal landscape in Pourville, a charming village in Normandy, France. Created by the renowned Impressionist artist Claude Monet in 1882, this masterpiece offers a captivating portrayal of the idyllic scenery. At the forefront of the painting lies a sandy path flanked by vibrant green grasses and wildflowers, leading towards the beach. The path winds its way through the golden wheat fields, creating a sense of movement and depth in the composition. Monet's delicate brushstrokes convey the texture and swaying motion of the wheat, evoking a feeling of tranquility and harmony with nature. Beyond the fields, the sandy beach stretches out toward the azure sea, its soft golden sands illuminated by the warm glow of the sun. Monet captures the interplay of light and shadow on the sand, with patches of sunlight filtering through the clouds overhead. The beach exudes a sense of serenity and relaxation, inviting the viewer to imagine the gentle lapping of waves against the shore. In the distance, rugged cliffs rise majestically against the horizon, their dramatic silhouettes adding depth and perspective to the scene. Monet skillfully captures the rugged beauty of the cliffs using bold brushstrokes to convey their rocky texture and imposing presence. A solitary boat bobs gently on the calm waters, its sail catching the breeze as it glides toward the distant horizon. The boat serves as a focal point in the composition, adding a sense of movement and adventure to the tranquil scene. Above the vast expanse of the sky stretches outwards, its soft blue hues punctuated by wisps of white clouds. Monet captures the ever-changing nature of the sky using subtle shifts in color and tone to convey the passage of time and the transient beauty of the natural world. Overall, Claude Monet, Path in the Wheat Fields at Pourville, is a masterful depiction of the coastal landscape, capturing the timeless beauty and tranquility of the French countryside. Through his skillful use of color, light, and texture, Monet invites the viewer to immerse themselves in the peaceful serenity of this idyllic seaside retreat. 